Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video and another series. It's been to my mind quite often, <clears throat> um, the idea of talking about a very particular category of topics, which we will be starting a lineup of today. Conspiracies and Stereotypes. I kind of wanted to start this series with the conspiracies. Yes, conspiracies. Surrounding a location, the location, Area 51, that realistically isn't directly actually called that, but is referred to it a lot. Now, the conspir there, there is one well-known conspiracy, and that's that aliens are studied there, or they look for aliens and bring them there when they find them. Is this true? No. But wh where does this conspiracy come from? Well, let's take back. Now... I'm taking a lot of the information I'm giving from several different sources, so I, I have done the research on this and I did want to make sure what I was saying is accurate, but I also want to give my own opinions on the matter as well. Do I personally believe the conspiracy theories, for example? I don't believe them, but I do find them very interesting. So jumping into it, what is Area 51? Believe it or not, it's not an area where the government studies aliens. It is a government facility of sorts, though. It's actually a military air force base. Um, more specifically, it is one located at a very specific... I keep forgetting the name of the lake. But... Um... Let me think. This, this is a name I forget a lot. I don't know. I guess the idea is more that throughout a long period of time, long, if we're dating all the way back to the Cold War, that should tell you enough. Um, but it started as a base for a very secretive project back in the 1950s and 60s for the Cold War. Um, <clears throat> it, it, it was a base for a program called Oxcart. Um, their ultimate goal was to develop spy planes, like to help, you know, you know, spy on the enemy kind of thing. Kind of simple, but at the same time, not really. What the heck developed the idea for Area 51? Like the aliens thing. Quite frankly, it's the same thing that developed certain stories that you hear nowadays. Pictures. Simple as that. In fact, that a long period of time ago, there was actually someone who took a picture of the night sky. And the image showed something that looked a lot like a UFO to them. But after study and research, after a long period of time, that's not what it was at all. It was actually, if I remember correctly, it, it was one way or the other. It had something to do with outer space, yes. But it was more like another like planet or another universe, something like that. Just giving off its energy and physical appearance for a moment. <laughs> it was not a UFO, though. No. The funny thing about this particular conspiracy is that over time, it was fed into. For example, American Dad. The TV show, the adult animation TV show American Dad fed into this conspiracy theory as kind of a little joke. If fed into the idea that the CIA had involvement with it, and once again, this is just a downright conspiracy theory. Is it true? I don't believe so, but you know what? There are a lot of people out there who do so, to each their own on that front. Why 
Why is Area 51, though, so derived into this particular theory, though? That's actually kind of a simple answer as well. That picture I was talking about earlier, it was taken in Nevada and around that area. Now, the exact location I actually do not remember of. I looked into this once, and this UFO sighting, it, it constantly happened, and people are still, still believe that it's a UFO. It's the same picture, basically, over and over and over again. But why would people believe that it's a UFO? That's another simple answer. They watch way too many sci-fi films and believe a lot of what they see. It's the same con this, these kind of conspiracies start from the same concepts of like people who believe everything they see on the internet. That kind of idea. But what in particular, okay. Phone's been going off a lot. I want to make sure I can't hear the vibration that way I can focus. But I digress. What exactly brought all this on in the first place? Well, it's actually the same concept, psychologically, that actually brought on people creating movies and stuff like that during the 1920s to 40s and onward to bring calming minds interesting aspects a lot of the time when there's nothing going on or at least not enough conflict going on it'll be created by the general public even if it's fictional and sometimes if people are wanting enough of it they will actually start believing it in fact this is where most conspiracies start becoming believable by a lot Another aspect of this is actually, in the case of UFOs, which again, cores from Nevada, or Nevada, it depends on how you pronounce it. I go either or, that's why I've said both. <clears throat> but the concept comes from a farm in the same state as the location that surrounds the conspiracy. The whole image on the cornfield, taking up the cows, all of that, every little bit of it comes from people speculating about Area 51 and then expanding on it afterwards. It is actually very interesting what a lot of people have been able to come up with since, like again, the 1950s where this kind of all started during the Cold War era. It, ha it wasn't just during the Cold War either. Another good example of t a time period where this was kind of presented was the Vietnam War. A much, much more recent era. And it was the same concept. The place was basically dead between the Cold War and Vietnam War. But once the Vietnam War started, the place became lively again. And people started looking for that freaking thing in the sky again still there still in the same spot is it ever going to move probably in a circle but not towards us and if it is towards us then it's like kind of a, a diagonal circle I guess you could say kind of like this but it's not going to come down uh, I mean unless we want a ginormous problem, gravitational problem, it ain't touching our planet. <laughs> but the idea behind all this cores on one thing. Speculation can create very interesting and sometimes, in the case of certain aspects, very believable stories. That is Truth be told, where a lot of controversies come from, speculation doesn't exactly make them true. 
But if they're believable enough, some people will believe it. Area 51 was one of the best examples of it. And the reason I say that is not only is it the alien factor, but there's one other. And I'm going to make this short because the alien factor was the main focus of this video. Many of you have probably heard the moon landing was a hoax conspiracy theory. Guess where that people who claimed that all claimed, guess where it was, guess where they claimed it was constructed? Area 51. Yeah. Area 51 has some mystery around it, I'll admit that. But there is no physical proof that all these speculatory conspiracies actually take place there. Or that they even happen in the first place. Like I said, sure there's that picture, but that picture has been proven to be something like universal. Like a planet or a galaxy or something like that. That's been proven. And yet people still believe it. Am I trying to judge them for it? No. But it's more of a case of take it what you will. Conspiracies are an interesting thing, which is why I'm adding it to this whole series. It's not just stereotypes, because if I just talked about stereotypes, this, this series would get really dark really fast. I wanted to add conspiracies to lighten the mood a lot of the time. I figured this first episode would be a good Kickstarter for that. So what do you guys think? What are your guys' thoughts on the conspiracy theories surrounding Area 51? Let us know in the comments below. If you'd like to check out any other um, of the videos on this playlist, if you're watching this in the future, if not, it'll probably be a random video, but click the link on this side of my head where, again, if it's in the future, play this will be there, but otherwise it'll be a random video. Click the link on this side if you want to find check out something that you may enjoy a little bit more if this doesn't quite float your boat. In the meantime, I'm going to head off. Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into this video, and we hope to catch all of you in another one. See you guys later.